Last time on Illbleed, like nine months ago. Monster deals, killer deals, absolutely homicidal deals at Cashman Department Store. If you spend $100, you get $100 back. Pizzas are buy one, get 25 free. If you buy this microwave, I'll give you my fucking house. Only at Cashman Department Store. It's a sale, and not a deadly disguise for mass murder by store manager Donald Cashman. Jump on down the prize slide for your chance to win a brand new Hyundai Excel. I'll see you at the toy aisle. Ha, I'm Mr. Meat. Come on down to Cashman's department store where we're cooking up human meat. Come on down to Cashman's department store where we're not cooking up human meat. Wink. Wait, you don't want me to wink? Meatloaf is 50% off. Blenders a whopping 95% off. Here's a gun. We promise not to murder you. Credit cards are no longer accepted at Cashman's. So be sure to bring all of your cash, gems, jewels, antiques, heirlooms, and be sure to tell our friendly greeters if you have any gold teeth. I'm not gonna rip them out of your skull or nothing. I'm just curious. I'm the assistant manager of Cashman Department Store, and I'm sorry I failed you. Daddy, love you! Oh, my best friend, what's the best? Give it to I love you, Bob! Listen, you're gonna love our prices, you're gonna love our prizes. And you're gonna love our lack of human spiders with their giant spider bodies and their human heads, all right? That's a guarantee from me to you. You're gonna love it. So come on down to Cashman Department Store where the deals are so good, you'll wish you were dead. And at Cashman, all your wishes come true. Is that Slender Man? Destroy one by one. Michael Reynolds film. With no apostrophe on Boris, Reynolds. Boris Carlon. <laughs> Bale <laughs> Lugusi. It's Christian Bale Dwight Lugusi. Fly Boris Carlon with Helen Ch Ch Chandler? Directed by Michael Reynolds. Screenplay by Michael Reynolds. So. He's Charles Band. I, I think that we've brought this up before. Are these movies or are these rides? It's a movie. But then why are we interacting? Like, why are these movie theaters supposed to be rides? I don't get it. Are they like those? You know what? It's, is it like the SpongeBob thing? How that's a ride and a movie? It took place in New York in 1935. America was just coming out of the Great Depression when something happened which shocked the world. The Greater Depression. The papers called it the Killer Man Serial Murders, which began with the killing of the CEO of Manhattan Mutual Bank. The citizens of New York started to panic as there seemed to be no pattern or motivation for what would turn into 39 murders in less than a month. Since no one knew the killer's identity, people started calling him Killer Man because he always left the same trademark on his victims. A bright red star or killer mark. Wait, no, th wouldn't he be Star Man? Isn't that Star Man? Andy, is King Corn Karn and, and King Slender gonna help us? Then there was nothing, no more murders, at least ones that could be traced to Killer Man until 66 years later. He was back. He had to be. His oh no, the Ultimate Warrior's dead. Utility repair man Again. In Central Park. The Manhattan Police Department immediately launched a special task force to investigate the case and hopefully prevent such a thing from happening again. Killer Man, not to be confused with Murder Man and Death Guy. K kill K kill Kill. Kill a kill. 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 Oh my god. Kill. What about the rest of the screen? Why is it only on the left half? Shut up, it's the killer mark. If you watch this movie, you'll get $50,000. It's that bad. 
Are these movies? Oh, it is a movie. Okay, so they've all been rides or attractions or spook houses. What are other words for the first two House of Horrors? But this is an actual movie, so the, we're just gonna ha watch a good movie. The intro is the movie, where it's just the guy talking. I'm gonna find those those two funny robots. Chris, I'm sorry they've been murdered. Oh, that's right, they got replaced by Netflix. <laughs> they got replaced by people that are pretty funny, but not in this. Rift tracks. Kevin and Bill had it coming. <laughs> Killer man, no! <laughs> Not Kevin Murphy and Bill Corbett. Staff only. No. I don't know the password. We're not going to do the bit where I guess the password. Oh, he's been killed. I hope it wasn't murder, man. Oh, it was killer, man. That's even worse. A worker in the projection room has apparently been murdered recently. There's a strange mark on his face. Was he killed by that Starro guy? 0017, Scott. So the password is Scott. Okay, that was fortunate. Can't watch anything on the TV. Yep, that's Scott. Where's the S key? Well, this looks like an S. Um, and a three is, is two C's stacked on top of each other. O. And then a T is half of a seven. Okay. You're right, Annie. That joke wasn't funny. I'm sorry. They can't all be winners. In fact, normally they're not. Oh, man. This would be really convincing uh, concrete if it weren't the same repeated texture. Yeah, also there's this line right there. On the oh, maybe it's a trap. Nope. Someone just bad at their job. Okay, it's a Dreamcast. This is this game is over 20 years old. This game could go to war for its country and die like a man. Whoa! Oh, it's just another Dead Island 2 pre-order bonus. It's a sexy faceless lady. Okay, so we're just we're entering like hyper Westworld mode now, right? I guess so. I mean, I'm not gonna say that the previous levels were subtle, but this is weird because shouldn't this be the last level? Oh hell yeah! This is where you go in and you murder all the people who work at Lucas Arts. They had it coming. They had it coming. Oh no, it's a new enemy. Worker man. Oh no, I'm short one killer man. This is not good. Not good at all. My review for this game. Hi, uh, you're one of those part timers, aren't you? Part time. Sorry, kid. I don't have time to chat right now. If you need someone to talk to, give Cunningham a try. You'll run into him eventually if you just keep moving. This can't be happening, man. This is not a good thing. I ran out of killer man, guys. Did he call me part-timer? Yeah. This is Director Ton? Get out of here, you sexist pig. Oh my god, he was, a, he was a real pig. Oh my god, that's so fucking clever. He is a sexist pig. Um, excuse me, but someone got killed in the monitor room. They told me to come here and report to- You must be one of those part-timers. You make me sick. I'm Cunningham. I'm the supervisor of the killer man in enemy section 5. I'll be right with you. We need to go over employee rules and what work you'll be required to do. Like die for killer man. Oh, this is reporter Yorg. He is here to check out our amusement park and actually write an exclusive article for us. He also has a baby doll head for nice a human Nice to meet head. you. Uh, you too. 
First, you've got to remember the basic duties. There's the park facility control room. When you go through the room... Chief, you're not gonna believe what happened! What is it? One of the Killer Man costumes is missing. What's the big deal? I'm sure one of you guys left it somewhere in the room. Don't lose your cool. Just take your time. This guy and has look big incel it. energy. It'll show up soon. But what if it doesn't show up? There's no way we can just ignore this thing, you know. Each costume costs 20 million dollars. I'm sure he meant 20 million Jason, yen. As you can see, this isn't a good time. As I've got guests at the moment. We can talk about this later if you don't mind. I want a divorce! Oh, and as for you, I'll go over the instructions with you later on. While you're waiting, why not visit the park facility control room? Don't forget the ID card. I guess I'd better tell you where to find it. Take a look by the exit. It'll be right there. Next to the $40 billion Donald Duck costume. Well, Yorg, sorry for the interruption. Shall we continue? Let me show you our monitor room. This way, please. I can't believe they got Kirk Cameron for this game, huh? I guess I'll start looking around backstage. <laughs> Why does a Killer Man costume cost as much as a Black Hawk helicopter? Is it made out of EVA foam? Am I right? My cosplay viewers? That stuff's expensive. Or inexpensive, I don't know. You haven't got your ID card yet, have you? We all talk like Go get one in the park facility control room. Hey everyone, it's editor Chris from the future. Um, we recorded this originally back in September 2019, um, which was a long time before uh, Wayne Radio TV made the Half-Life uh, VR, but the AI is self-aware series. And I, I kind of wish we didn't because people keep asking for ID and we could have like had, oh, it's like Benry. It's like Benry, everyone. And and, and it would have been funny, I guess. I don't know. But just pretend, make your own jokes and put them in and um, it'll make the video uh, better maybe or actually probably worse because we'd be ripping off someone else's bit. I should edit this part out. I'm sorry. Go back to watching the video. I swear, all these guys sound like they went to the same voice acting school as the dude that played Vern in Ninja Turtles. Awesome! Item sensor. Hell yeah. They're all just different versions of slimy scumbags. Ah yes! Welcome to Employee Orientation! Destro, show them where the restrooms are. So what dead person was she talking about? The guy who was killed by Starro. Oh. The, the first dead body we found. We found so many dead, like, staff members that I'm kind of numb to it. Yeah, but... So was that... Because, I mean, if you remember, Eriko has murdered one herself. Was that a real dead body we found? Or, let me try that again. Was that a real dead body we found? It was a real dad bod. <laughs> it was a real dad bod. <laughs> That's in this year. Thank God. Okay, I don't like these pools. Normally they, remember the first level, it, it jumps up and grabs you. The pool? Yeah, remember in, in bo the bomb below level? Did you see that pool? They flipped the bitch! Okay, let's look at our map, see if what the item sensor says we got around here. Nothing! Thank you, item sensor. I'm so glad I picked you up. That'd be a real mean thing to do in this level, is to give us an item sensor, like, so easily. Uh-oh. And then there's no items. Is that Gail Bombolo? That was a picture of Kanukumon's dad. Are there multiple bomb belows? Technically, there's none. He's an animatronic. Ah, oh, shit! It's Bloody Mary. 
and she's on Quaaludes. Hey, Why is she up? moving so slow? Hey. I don't want to fight right now. Ow! Crap. Maybe a little bit. If I have to. Hey, hurry up. Damn. This is exactly oh. what it's like when you go into the catacombs of Disney World and like... Goofy finds you back there and he's like, you're not supposed to be here and he just stabs you to Andy, death. Andy, uh, I think that, I think, I think she might be from House Atreides because she knows that the slow blade will penetrate my shield. Got away. Well, Chris, maybe she's using a McLaughlin blade. <laughs> Look to your left. To my left? Oh my god! Why is this chainsaw so slow? Well, if Leatherface ever discovers shield technology, you'll be glad you have it. Now, a six, the sixth sense can mean a, 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 oh, damn it. I don't like when they put the traps up there. Or anywhere. No traps. Just we, take them away. We, do It'll just be a, a sidewalk, one direction, nothing attacks you. We didn't buy any items. I forgot a very crucial part of every level. Oh, uh, sorry everyone at home. Oh, you know, I have... I have editing software. That's something I do have access to. You know what? I lied. We did. We did. We bought a bunch of items. <laughs> Don't mind that my health and my stamina meter are different. What is it? What is it? Well, you can see it. Cool. cool. Area two, here we go. Now I gotta get to area 51, because Generation Z, please like our video, please. We need some, we need to find some niche. Area 51 isn't niche. That game made millions in the arcade. What the? We've never fought these guys before, what? Eggs. It's Dizzy. Dizzy's pretty niche, right? Only English men have ever played Dizzy. Dizzy and his twin brother. <laughs> He's full of green slime, just like the original NES classic. Dizzy and Jizzy. Oh, Andy. That's their names. That's true, he does jizz quite a bit. He got me there. Narrow escape. Oh, he went down here, never mind. See, the bad thing about this game is that you want to avoid the traps. But the traps are the best part of the game. Also, the bad thing about this game, the graphics. Ha 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 ha. If you avoid everything this game, you just walk through a f amusement park. Never fighting anything or being damaged. Well, normally when I go to an amusement park, I don't fight things. Except the aforementioned time I did, yes, get in a fight with Goofy. But he was right. I was not supposed to be down there. <laughs> it's gonna have to be a closed casket funeral and he whips out a switchblade. <laughs> Your mom's gonna cry when she sees what I've done to you. I was, I was about to say boss battle or item. It's the meaty boys. I can't believe I have to take heart pills already. I'm only 35. 
I actually do have to take heart pills. Uh, relaxation CD. Let's burn a few of these. And have let's a nice just, salad. Let's burn a few CDs. <laughs> Andy, I have like 57 different remixes of do the D-A-N-C-E I have to burn. That's, that's not relaxation music. Some of them are. Do the D-A-N-C-E, one, two, three, four, five. Stick, Stick to, to the B-E-A-T, -E get, get ready to ignite. Boom, boom, boom. It's like bossing on oh, the beat. Fuck, trick me. took my money I mean I'd rather take my money cuz I'm pretty rich right now I've had all the surgery I think I can get also I'd rather you know be poor than dead oh. it's America being poor is being that's dead. true cuz you know in America when you run out of money this tiny doll comes up and stabs you in the groin over and over might as well what stage of capitalism is this? Getting killed by a tiny doll. You know how Puppet Master was an actual allegory for class warfare? Oh my god, was it? Like, the, the Puppet Master was big, but the puppets were tiny. That has to mean something. And they only progressed when they rose up and killed their... The bourgeois. That's true. In the master. in the second puppet master, they seized the means of production. Now it well, was the production and, of green slime, but it was still seizing the means of production. Okay, Chris, what is laser tag? It's a fun game. Okay. <laughs> okay, that should hurt him more than me. <laughs> Why did that hurt you at all? Ta-da! <laughs> I can do this on concrete! <laughs> My god! King, that's concrete! That's that's not padding! How do you learn to fall off a 50-foot ladder? He did take the bump the right way, though, didn't he? He spread his arms, distributed the weight evenly, tucked his chin in. He definitely hit his head first, but all right. Okay, he hit his head first. You know what? No, he did not. You're right. He did not take that bump correctly. CZW. CZW. What would you call that tag team? I'd call them the Meat Night Express. I got a billion of them. I'll never stop. I wish you had less. Okay, there's a trap or something good over here. It's a hot dog. I'm wagering that... A salad! I get my salad at the hot dog store. Oh, that's not salad, that's just a plate of relish! Oh no, dummy popcorn! <laughs> I love dummy popcorn, it has bits of wood in it. Okay, let's have a salad. Uh, what else is bad? I'm running through all my stuff. I should have bought more. I thought I, I was too cons uh, too liberal with my spending. I understand hearing and smell because, oh, do you hear that? Where's that coming from? What's that smell? Sight, though, I can see it. No, I think it's more like you're squinting, like, what the fuck is that? Does that dude have a pumpkin I, attached to his head? I, oh, it's just Gale Bomb below. I disagree, because if you see something, you're like, what is that? You know what fucking direction it's in. It's not That's like, true. what is that? Is that behind me? Erico should work with us, not against us. By the way, for, for people thinking, like, I'm having lucky guesses where items are... It's because you rarely ever get feedback for searching and there not being an item there. Cool. I got a six cents. Oh, hell yes. Suddenly I'm the last boss of the game. <laughs> Does this game not have ammo? No. You just 
<laughs> Shoot it up. I'm going to go back and... That's also my favorite Sigu Sigu Sputnik song. But I said I was going to go back and fight Mary. No, I can't. Let's see what she thinks about me having a fucking shotgun now. Okay, I, I used the ID card. I thought I used the ID card. You might need to use it on the actual, like... Oh. No, you just need to check it before using it. Did this door that says ID card on it, where the ID card was sitting next to it, need an ID card? I should probably check before making a wild assumption. It doesn't say ID, it says... Tykes. T-I-X-E. Oh, hey, there's a guy there. Does he have new dialogue, or is he just... Where's the guy where? Back. Down the stairs, to the right. Shoot him. Did you get your ID card? Then go see Cunningham and he'll issue you a code number. I thought you were Cunningham. You all sound like human snakes to me. Oh my god, Andy, are they reptilians? Is this the Dulce Air Force Base? No. Well, just say yes so we can continue with the bit. Yes. Then that's spooky. Oh no. See, wow, that's, what, that's how the bit, I think I stuck the landing. Also, I forgot the, the axe last time. I have the axe again. Not that I'm gonna fight anyone, I'm just gonna can fucking run. Can you take run. her pistol? Give me that, lady. Nope. Fake pistol. Maybe you should just help her, she's falling. Perpetually. Till the help end of time. Help me, I think I'm falling. Perpetually. Was that Kate Bush? No. Who is it? Is it Joni Mitchell? I can't remember. Ugh. Should be Kate Bush. I like Kate Bush. I do not like Joni Mitchell. I like Kate Bush. Hot takes here. Chris does not enjoy the music of Joni Mitchell. Or Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Is that Joni Mitchell? Fuck, I can't remember. Ah, human Ken doll! You were right about the body. This is a homicide case. I'm the baby Somebody detective. killed him. You should have seen Manager Cunningham's face. He turned deathly white and rushed over to the main office. But never mind about him. Here, come take a look at this. It's a pamphlet about Jesus Christ. It's the killer star. That's the mark of a killer man. This logo suggests that a killer man is actually the murderer. But here's the catch. Killer man doesn't really exist. This is a he's video a game, character idiot. They created for this theme park. Or movie. It's hard to believe this could happen, but we have a real dead body here with a killer mark on it. I've lost four quarts of all blood at this theme park already. Figure out what it all means. Well, it doesn't matter. If he was a good person, he'll go to heaven. And the rest of us will have to wait into the inevitable apocalypse at the base of Haramagidu and the whore of Babylon and the beast with seven heads and seven crowns shows up and you know what I'll have Nicolas Cage talk about this he'd make it more interesting yeah I'm falling asleep here like the world's ending and I'm like get on with it Jesus Christ and he's I, like, yeah? And I'm like, oh, I didn't know you are here. I'm I sorry. Gotta, I gotta wait for how many seals to be broken? Ugh. Seven. How many trumpets do I gotta listen to? There's how many woes? I gotta go to work. Killer man. Jason. It must be Jason. No, we don't have the rights to that guy. It can't be him. Yorg, come look at him. Look! Yorga, he's on the floorga. Manager Cunningham. And look, another killer star. No, he was just eating a Cunningham cobbler. Cunningham was shouting out the names Killer Man and Jason. I wonder if the murderer is Jason. No, we don't know the rights to that guy! I don't know about that. If Jason is the murderer, then... Why would he bother reporting to Cunningham about a missing killer man's costume? If Jason's the murderer, well, we're gonna get sued. I don't think a murderer would report the costume is missing, especially if he was going to wear the thing. 5D chess. Wow, Yorg. You sound like Lieutenant Columbo or something. Me? Oh, come on. You think so? Columbo anyway, talks more like this. I wonder why the killer is killing one worker after another. The first thing we should do is find Jason. 
I just saw Jason heading toward the backyard a couple of minutes ago. To play on his tire swing. But that place is restricted to authorized personnel only. We can't get in there. Uh, one more thing, Jason. Um, why did you tell the chief that the killer man costume was missing if it's right here in your trunk? Oh, 0824. Awesome. Oh, 824. A 0824. Oh, Nick.com. Nick.com. I'm not Jason. I'm a different killer. I'm hockey fan. <laughs> I'm swim fan. No, we'll get sued. I'm single white female. In essence, that that that's a form of copyright theft. If you just become another lady when you're a, when you're a different lady. That was 0824. You are correct. I was wrong. <laughs> okay, did you forget to animate something, game? Now, you've seen the Resident Evil film, right? Of course, who hasn't? That's a, that's a trap. That's a, that's gonna be a laser room when I walk into it. Well, if it's anything like a Resident Evil movie, you just do a bunch of flips. Okay, well, I gotta jump. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I have. Yeah, there's no way that's not a fucking trap. What? Ah, oh, I should have hit the button three times, of course. I'm such a moron. Truly, this game is fair. <laughs> Diddy Kong is dead. Nanto Shinken dumping a dead body in a shoot fist. <laughs> I think we're making good time. Just more drab bleakness. It's funny, but this probably is how the, the, the bowels of the Disney parks look. I just want excuse to say the word bowels. This level is a lot of dead air to fill. God, this, this level is so devoid of anything. It makes me miss Gail Bombolo. Everything makes you miss Gail Bombolo. You're fucking in love with Gail Bombolo. I don't. You f I don't? That's not a proper response to what I just said. Nope. Ah! Oh, I want to go back to there being nothing, because this if this is- if it's between nothing and this, I choose nothing. Holy gr- ugh. That reminds me of when that happened to me in real life. Over and over again. We live in, uh, Texas. No, no, no. I, I meant when a deluge of roaches came at me. Not one. Wait, it's using a sword and a gun? Psycho Crusher! the red steel 2 guy yoga frame sato oh i'm sorry that's red steel 1 
They're complete. They're ba they're basically they're, different they're, series. They're completely different games. Scum of the Earth, Red Steel video win. Oh man, hey, the fans demanded that we play Red Steel. Was that a Pokemon trainer? So let's talk about how the music is just. Da -na 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 but a shitty version and really slow. Is it Hollow Mountain King? It's like the first few notes of Hollow Mountain King and then nothing else. Let's take a listen. Oh, it's 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 like the it's the ripoff. You can see where it deviates. It it's goes, the ripoff, even though the song is definitely public domain. That's true. I don't think I got any. Uh... You didn't so, get Nia. So, so you see that Resident Evil movie. <laughs> We're gonna see fucking old snake crawling in here after coming out of a microwave. That's what that one hallway reminded me of, but I couldn't remember what game that was in. That probably would be a more timely reference than Resident Evil the movie. So I doubt they're gonna watch- whoa! Oh yeah, the lightning bugs that power the- Ah! Uh, Andy, I was just attacked by one million fireflies! <laughs> I, I don't believe my eyes. <laughs> oh, do you see the big va the vents on the side, Chris? Yeah. Well, those are PS4s. That's why there's all the roaches and bugs. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's the killer man. <laughs> the way he jumped. You know, I remember reading that Jason used to be a professional gymnast. Who could so shoot it makes lasers? Sense that he could pull off these killer man stunts. So does that make Jason the murderer? Gymnast can't fly. No, it's not right to jump to conclusions. There's not enough evidence to prove anything yet. Jim Cotta couldn't even fly. It <laughs> is Jim Cotta. This is a fucking serial killer, and it's Pepsi Man. It's like <laughs> no, oh, he's like new Coke man. There's a there's a horrible serial killer on the loose, and then he's like he can fucking fly and shoot lasers. That makes no sense. Jesus Christ. Maybe it's a Zack nothing, Snyder superhero. Nothing we can say. Nothing we can say is is funnier than the dialogue of this game. I feel like we're punching <laughs> above our weight class because <laughs> I think that's Killer Man. I think that's Killer Man. Pepsi Man. Unibeam! What kind of move is that? Jason may be a former athlete, but no human should be able to pull that kind of thing off. Not even a pro athlete. I wonder if this means that there is actually a real killer man? No way, that's impossible. I bet he used some strong wire or powerful springs like a magician. <laughs> a yeah, wire that makes you it. disappear? Bleed has a lot of tricksters and special effects artists. I'm about to fucking ground this little baby detective. It's gotta be Jason, and he like pulls out a shot put and hits him with it. <laughs> he throws a discus. <laughs> See, now I'm imagining it's Jason of Jason and the Argonauts. And he's like wearing the traditional Olympic garb where it's just like a little diaper, and he's doing the ancient Greek wrestling. I think they wore those diapers in the movies because they couldn't show the real ancient Greek garb, which, which was just, balls out. And they couldn't show the real wrestling, which was just fucking. I wonder if it's there. Oh, cool ant! I can't wait to see a cool ant. <laughs> oh, it's walking across the screen. That's one cool ant. But I hit the- Oh my god, it's chaos. Goddamn bio lizard. This ant better be awesome. Oh, he gave me an Amazon, that's good. Thank you, cool ant. You're much better than Greg Nut. 
Greg Nutt was in this video earlier. We didn't even acknowledge him. That's how much we hate him. We gave him beef. <laughs> we gave him several things of beef. Oh no, is a dead body gonna jump out and give me a scare? It's on the body bags. Is John Carpenter gonna jump out and tell me three spooky stories, two of them which are actually pretty similar? One was done by Toby Hooper. Oh no, Andy. Jason's dead. But, you know, you knew that. You saw Friday the 13th part six. <laughs> oh my God. If you, were, if you were a dead body, would you like sleep in a body bag? A man in a smiling bag. Uh-huh. Jason, so you're the killer after all. You killed Killer Man. No, no, it's not me. I, that I makes you kill or Killer Man. The costume reeks of Cunningham sweat. And there's more. There's no sensor on it anymore. It's been ripped off the costume. Sensor? Now he can say fuck! We used to have trouble with our workers stealing money or valuables from park visitors. So the management attached a sensor or to the 20 million dollar robot thieves. But Cunningham's costume has no sensor. This means Cunningham has been <laughs> ah. That wasn't killer man, that was gun having man. Hey guy, are you okay? Hang on there, buddy, we'll get some help. I mean my what were you trying to tell me about Cunningham? <laughs> That killer man just now was no ordinary guy. He had a strange move. A gun? I wonder what Jason was about to tell me. Could it be that killer man is Cunningham? Then who was that dead body I saw? I'm going after that killer man. There's no time to lose. You know, your calm demeanor and disregard for my well-being actually offends me greatly. I just got fucking shot, bro. I love how it's like, oh my god, he shot him to stop him from talking, and he shot him in the fucking shoulder, and he's totally fine. And then ran away. He has the jump on us. They don't know that I have a shotgun. In fact, I don't know if I have a shotgun. People complain about, like, how does Link have room for all that stuff in his bag, but at least he has a bag. I'm carrying around a shotgun, and all I'm wearing is a white miniskirt. Oh, maybe it's behind my little beret. What was that? Was a cutscene supposed to start? Oh, no. Okay. That's just the area loading. Okay. That's weird. Was that a especially, like, finely rendered corridor? That need to have its own dedicated load time? Best not to dwell on it. Let's talk more about Killer Man and how ridiculously stupid his name is. It's dumb. Well, that was fun. Man, the two textures in this hallway take a lot to render. I love how this game is just a bunch of mazes, but they give us maps. And now that you said the Hall of the Mountain King thing, I can't not hear it it's every single time. It's all I can time. hear. Okay, I guess let's go back and see if Cunningham's body is still there. It must be Troll Day. So it's Cunningham. He's pretending to be Killer Man. And he's also magic. And he's dead. Oh, he was... See, he took some Sensu Beans. That's how he got better. And also explains why he can fucking teleport. Cunningham's body is gone. I thought so. Your theory was right. Well, yeah. Cunningham has been killing the workers for some unexplainable reason. Not only that, he tried to finger Jason for the murders <gasps> and cover oh, up Oh, that's gonna get an HR complaint. Just when Jason was trying to tell me something pertinent to the crimes, Cunningham murdered him in cold blood. In the shoulder. Right in front of me. Way to go, Yorg. Erico, a man is dead. It's nothing. Much. Well, what are we supposed to do now? We have to nail Cunningham. What? That's going to get an HR must complaint. He'll be lurking somewhere nearby. But it says keep out. 
It's dangerous. What the hell? Now that you've gathered the clues you need, we're going to challenge your ability to solve the murder <laughs> case. Try and use your clues to solve who the murderer is. Walter Sullivan. If you come up with the right killer, you'll get a game cash bonus after clearing this stage. I think the so zombies. Who do you think the hate my neighbor. killer is? Come on, you can figure it out. Can't you? It was the Silent Hill Historical Society. Okay, so is Yorg the killer? Is that the twist? Was it Jason? He used to be a gymnast. Explains why he can teleport. Amusement reporter for Amusement Topic Magazine. Explains why he's a child in a, an adult's body. Uh, killer man section chief. Hot-headed and disturbed. I don't... Okay. Was it me? Did I do it? You know what, Andy? I'm going to say this. We haven't seen any of these guys commit a murder, but we have seen Killer Man <laughs> commit several murders. Also, I, there's something about his name. I just don't... <laughs> That's profiling, Chris. I think you did it. I think it's Killer Man. <laughs> Please continue to play now. We hope you enjoy your experience. I'm Gygus, by the way. Get praying, fools. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? This game is crazy. Running through the morgue. Who? who what died in here? Just about everything, duh. It's a morgue, silly. A morgue? Yeah, where they keep the stiffs. Before they finger Ill them. The is full of dead bodies. More than a hundred visitors die in this park every day. <laughs> this is where the bodies get burned and forgotten. What? Not exactly the high point of the park. This is really weird. It feels like spirits are swirling around my body. I hear ya. It's like Why's... a cold mist. Why are some of them giants? Why are there some of them giant sexy ladies? So, there's just a mass grave in Illbleed, and this reporter is like, Yep, this is Stanker's amusement park. Yorg was like, concerned about one guy dying in front of him not ten minutes ago, and he's just like, Ah, oh, this is a mass grave. Oh, Andy, you don't think we're gonna run into Mike Dawson down here, do you? I mean, if we do, we'll just shut the game off and pretend we didn't. Let's play it. Like, I'm not crazy. Some of those corpses have, oh, yeah. like, bad... Look, look at that. I think all of them do, What's with Chris? that woman? And that crying baby man? That's It's ridiculous looking, but it's still going to be the background of my computer because it kind of rips. Spooky ghost, we've run out of ideas. Oh my God, this game is almost as scary as Disney's Hercules. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Haunted Mansion, but no, it's not that scary. Oh God, I would have to be rich enough to be, be able to afford to go to the park to know that. New Patreon goal, uh, give us money to go to Disney take World. Take me to Disney and I can use it as a touchstone and never shut up about it. If you get a million dollars, you can take the, uh, the three guys from last podcast and I left the Disney World with you. And I'll leave them there. <laughs> Congratulations, asshole. You live in Disney. It was my dream that one day we'd be so popular that we'd have our version of game days. You know, like how Mega 64 yeah. does, except it'd be at Six Flags because I don't like to drive. <laughs> and everyone would be disappointed they flew down here. <laughs> And then they get their feet cut off by Superman Tower of Power. I can take about an hour on the Tower of Power. Oh, zombies! Finally! Did you eat my neighbors? I'm Texan, so there's a good chance that my neighbors are all racist. So I don't really mind if the zombies eat them. Okay, that one guy, he's breaking away from the pack. 
good chance some of our neighbors practically have flags in their front yard that say we're racist. That's true. If you've seen some of the bumper stickers of the cars parked in the, the street here. What was that? I don't think those were costumes. Those creeps were real. Hey! King Kotsuman! They got Jason. That's not Jason, that's Jorg. Jorg, whatever. Yeah, done a great Jorg there, Homestar. Okay, I'm not bleeding. God, I can't believe the mascot for Iron Maiden just abducted Jorg. I've been watching a lot of Kanikamon recently. I forgot how uncomfortable the Nazi just being there makes me. I mean, it's like, uh, it was a different time. Then I think back, no, it was the late 80s. <laughs> Get that Nazi out of here. <laughs> unless the different time is like the 40s. Yeah, unless the different time was the 40s. Oh boy. Uh, this is quite the maze. Remember when I said that I felt like this level had a lot of downtime? I feel like the level heard me say that and is now punishing me. Oh, no. Okay, so this level, the soundtrack in this makes you think like the Jaws theme is starting up and then it, it bails on it. Or actually, if you hear the little, the little, uh, like whistle, it sounds like the little steam whistle that would go off when people are, are done their job. So it's, it's, yeah, so it's the Jaws theme starts up and then it gets called on its lunch break. It's the shark union. <laughs> Come on, Vince, the sharks are unionized, but the wrestlers aren't. I feel like if there weren't a bunch of like weird roach colored bodies on the ground, this would feel like Jedi Academy 2. <laughs> <laughs> like, this does, this has, this has this a very Jedi Knight feel to it. Like when you went in that hallway, this would be a pretty cool multiplayer level. With special guest character Erico Christie. Erico Christie. Put her in Tony Hawk. I don't know. This would this would be a cooler Tony Hawk level. You could grind on all those rails. I could grind these corpses into a fine mesh powder. I can't believe the game has like employees of the park die. And then it's like, it's okay, they're robots. It's fine. It doesn't matter. And they're like, oh, by the way, there's a mass grave. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that guy in on it? I don't think he's really a reporter for the Jork? theme park times. I'm just saying, I don't, I do not trust a news source unless Mio Farrow was its mom. <laughs> I don't trust a news source unless they're directly related to the last unicorn. Can you imagine if you went on a ride and it's like the attraction is it has a mass grave in it? I guess that'd be the Pirates of the Caribbean. They say there's still one real skull in the Pirates of the Caribbean. They got rid of all the other real bodies. Yes. I guess it's just really high and no one wants to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up that there's a, there's, there's, you are seeing human remains when you go to the Pirates of the Caribbean. I guess Illbleed was like, oh, if Disney could do it, we could have a fucking mass grave. You know, I heard Disneyland also uh, has a mass grave still to this day. It's uh, where they dump all the Plutos. Uh, when they stop being puppies when they get too old because you know dogs only live to be about like you know 15 16 years old they also dump goofies there too i 
Okay, they, those ghosts are on par with the ghosts you see in I Spy Spooky Mansion. Yeah, they're pretty terrifying. They look like the ghosts that you make with those special flashlights you get when you go to Lowe's, you know? Yeah. The ones that I bought a bunch of. Chris made this game, by the way. I would. We, we Everyone wants to reboot games? Fucking someone reboot this. I would love an Ill Bleed 2. Yeah, except the gameplay isn't fun. And also, um... I'm having the time of my life. You're just watching. Sorry, and also what? You keep complaining about, like... Oh, it's unfair and difficult and like, it makes no sense. I do the same thing with Dark Souls and Dark Souls is still a great game. This is just the Dark Souls of games that Chris complains about. You know, Dark Souls, how it's always random and you know, it's, it's just, you kind of like just take stabs to the dark. And you're not allowed to go back to previous areas and grind. Nothing makes any sense. And you can try a thing four times and you have to start all over. <laughs> And how's, how there's that weird area in Dark Souls where you turn into a wooden dummy and you have to find your friend's brain and put it back in his body. That could that could actually totally be in Dark Souls. Okay, what about a baseball minigame? That's less likely, but <laughs> It'd be sure. in Dark Souls if Dark Souls was cool. That's more of a Bloodborne thing, but... Deep Space Nine had a baseball <laughs> episode. See, if you go in Dark Souls and you see a mass grave, it's no big deal because you know some of the skeletons are going to get up and they'll pull up big swords and then you got to fight them. I must admit, I'm lost. How could you get lost in this area where literally everything looks exactly the same? Oh boy. Is there only one area you can drop down? Oh, to, to. There's something special around here. Dig through the, the bodies. Dig. Oh, is that what she's doing? What she... You I got mean, deep I, breath. I love... That looks like a Radiohead album cover. <gasps> I love... Vanilla Coke. I don't think I would fish a Vanilla Coke out of a mass grave and then just drink it. Well, that's a deep breath, so that's fine. That's fine. Does he does he kiss it into your mouth? You mean like in Mother 3? Is he a reverse like um CPR dummy? CPR dummy? He's a dummy that breathes into you. In Soviet Russia, dummy breathes into you. We have living dummies in Soviet Russia. Do not tempt us, American pigs. We have already broken the rules of God. What makes you think we'd obey the Geneva Convention? <laughs> When's that character getting a puppet? Is what you're probably asking. Oh, to, to. Let's do the fast forward song. You ready, Andy? What, fa what should the fast forward song be? For this episode. Uh, 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 um, I wanna run to the of my high school. I wanna scream at the top of my lungs. I just found out this is a real. You gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep doing just it until we get to our We gotta rise above. That's all I know. I'm sorry. Then do start over again. I wanna run for the front of my front door. Wait, take a left this time because you always take a right. Take a rest. We got him. S. Thank you. You saved my life. And I am grateful. Even though it's kind of embarrassing to get caught off guard like that. I had to eat my way out of these bodies. <laughs> Yay. Wait, do we get to play as Jorg now? Yay. Look, Andy. Ew. No. <laughs> what? I hate Jorg so fucking much. Oh, you're, you're just upset that... Yes, the, I'm upset that you get to play as That pro-Jared is now part of our party? <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, did you see that picture of pro-Jared in that canceled shirt? <laughs> he looks so upset. He's like, now I only can fuck one girl. <laughs> did you see pro-Jared in that Sailor Mercury costume? Because <laughs> I wish I hadn't. 
Let's stop talking about Pro Jared. I was one of the whistleblowers. <laughs> let's stop talking. Let's stop talking about Pro Jared because if it's anything like Twitter, every time someone talks about him, I'm going to see his dick. <laughs> it's it's like gonna be in the com- it's gonna be in the comments oh, somewhere. No. And we've said it at least four times. If we say it one more time, oh man, fucking Michael Keaton's gonna show up and be like, "Hey, you want to see Pro Jared's dick? <laughs> nice fucking model." Oh wait, that's real. Ah. <laughs> Supposed to jump down here as well. Hey everyone, it's editor Chris in the future again. Um if you see a like a jump like that in the video, that's normally due to uh, the fr frames being dropped by the emulator or just the emulator messing up in some weird way. It is what I would say if we weren't playing this on the original hardware uh, with a copy of Ill Bleed that we legally purchased with money. That's what I would have said. Okay, so what are we doing right now? We have to find the three carts for that prospector, right? I, I guess. One has his gold, you one got has an his lunch, and one of them's empty. People in the comments, if you know what that's a reference to, then you're probably my girlfriend. And Casey, thanks for watching the video. We played the cave the other night. Surprise! Happy birthday! Are they gonna do? Are they gonna break out the thriller dance? Nope, they're just gonna chase me. I like how every pack of zombies just has that one go-getter looking for a promotion. Look at him go! He's hungry. I don't think that's a zombie. I just think that's a guy who's badly hurt. <laughs> Please help us. I'm not dead. <laughs> I was in a car accident. I'm very much alive. You gotta be a go-getter if you want to eat. In this world, there's sharks and there's not sharks. And sharks eat not sharks. Man, I hope the ending of this game is good. Because I referenced that I played the cave the other day. And, uh... That game is really good up until the ending. And the endings are always really anticlimactic. And it's like... I'm enjoying myself in this game. So I hope the ending is not anticlimactic. I'm gonna save. We're gonna save in port C. Because we haven't done a save there. Little, little tip if you're a, a Let's Player like me and you like to add in a bunch of extra stuff and redo cutscenes, uh, you have to make use of as many different save files as possible. Like if you look at our Silent Hill 2 LP, that still isn't finished, uh, <laughs> I actually maxed out the uh, amount of saves you could have on the PC version just because every area I would need in case I need to go back to and capture a cutscene or an environment. It's Res. Get a load of that. Jason was right. But why would he kill workers who don't have any award money? But why? Well, uh, that's because... Mm, <laughs> I'm having a stroke. Aren't you a detective? Shh. No, I'm a reporter. Who's that? I hear you. Come out with your hands up. This gun can shoot through walls. I got it from Deus Ex. So, it's you guys, you dirty rats. Mm hmm. <laughs> I see. You're here to get my money. <laughs> no, you can't do this. We're literally staying in a mass grave. <laughs> There's 50,000 dead bodies here. What's a few more bodies? 50,002. Like being part of a crowd, eh? <laughs> Please, please don't shoot me. Don't waste your breath, buddy. Nothing phases me. Ah, oh, an actual phaser! Shit! Wait a minute, that's not Killer Man. That's the Trojan Pentagon. The American superhero. I should have guessed by the fact that A, he has a giant star in his face, and B, he's shooting lasers at me. Well, guess what, Pentagon? Can you go be- Oh, fuck. Guess what, Pentagon? Can you go beam? So 
So he's also a ninja. He reminds me a lot of, I think it was the magician from uh, House of the Dead 2. He does. He's kind of that and Tyrant and Pepsi Man. Also, why are we having this fight in Am subconscious? In his turgid bowels. Are those like uh, sesame sticks? Like, no, I think those are maggots. Just cashews spilling from No, the... I think those are the... Andy, don't mind the maggots. Maggot? Shadooby. Shad. Shad. Maggots aren't that scary. Ah, my brain's been battered. <laughs> I mean, shattered. I'm not as scared as mag maggots and worms, because they're, they're good for the environment. I think you this, need worms and maggots. I think, I think Am finally built himself a body and he made sure that it was ripped and sexy. And that's why we're in this. Or maybe this is a. I don't know, Tokutatsu's version of Gai Gaigas, I guess. You disgusting humans. You know what? I got my own body and now I kind of get it. So I guess I was too hard on you. Sex I'm sorry. is great and I love pizza. <laughs> So you can just have as much sex and as much peach as you want. That's awesome. Actually, uh, no. What? You'll you'll die if you have too much pizza. Ah, oh, fuck. Being a human sucks. I'll be a robot again, or just a big, a big rock. Just a big rock computer. Whatever. We people criticize that game. Like, oh, how come Am's a giant rock? It's like they didn't know the future of case modifications when people would put their computers in literal fish tanks or rainbow bright dolls or a third inconceivable thing. This boss fight is hard. What if Am was just like a Teddy Ruxpin? <laughs> oh! Oh, your heart's racing. So, yeah, he's shot me with the fucking death beam! I'm, hey, I... Go shoot the messenger, why don't you? This guy is... All Might and Genji combined, and he's fucking my shit up in a goddamn level from Darkstalkers. I'm tagging out. Have fucking Amazon or... Or... Amazon? Great Puma fight him. You can use your Amazon to fully recover. I can. I'm in, the, I'm in a fight. Remember, she can't use items during a fight. Wow, that's the one time you'd want to use items, huh? Yeah. I love Why this game, Why do you want though? a fucking sequel of this game? <laughs> so they enable items. Is... Are we sinking? No, we, we already synced before we started recording. No, but like the... Are the maggots actually making the... Oh boy. I don't want to fight this Joker again. I don't want to fight the Joker. It's me, the Joker, from that movie. Here's your but, Emmy. Or rem Oscar, or whatever. Remember when I was just a funny clown? Remember that? I got shocked to death. Oh boy. Erico died. Why can't we play as... the as Ress? Who's going in? Is Michelle the one you leveled up a little bit? I leveled up or Michelle a bit. Randy Fairbanks. But I think we gotta tag Randy in. It's Randy time. If someone's gonna take down Starman, it's gonna have to be the Macho Man, Randy, whatever this guy's last name is. Oh yeah. I've been with you the whole time. Where's his shotgun? Oh boy, his dodge is very slow. Oh my god. He's so big. He's almost as big as Killer Man. They should just fight or have sex, whichever. Killer Man, what's your fucking regiment, man? Are you taller than Killer Man? They should put this guy in Smash. By this guy, I mean Randy. Could you fucking imagine? <laughs> Sakurai would be murdered. By Killer Man? <laughs> oh my god. Was Sakurai murdered by Killer Man? Or by him being overworked? We did save right before this fight, though, right? I have no idea. So if all of our boys and girls take a dive... I think all our boys and girls are going to take a dive. 
Oh, man. Oh, man. I know you don't come to this show to see the same boss fight three times. Kevin, you're up. It's Kevin time. I'm the real protagonist. Oh shit, I forgot Chris didn't like me so he didn't give me surgery. Not even after my testicular torsion. You know how bummed I'm gonna be if I actually beat this thing with Kevin? I don't want to do anything that validates his existence. I mean, I, uh, uh, Ill Bleed 2 Kickstarter is a long shot, but I really don't want this guy coming back on like the 1% chance we get a sequel to this game. Why do they have this room? Uh, it's the big red face room. Okay, so Killer Man is just using Tenkaichi Budokai movesets right now. That's a fucking meteor smash. I wonder how many, like, Japanese Super Sentai uh, could be killed by your average American with a gun. And th then that makes me wonder, like, how come Bulk and Skull didn't, like, pull, like, a Mark David Chapman? You know? They seem the type. This sure is a boss fight. Oh, that was an accidental pause. So is this game a Splatterhouse game? How so? Because isn't this a fight in Splatterhouse? I mean, it's- it, You fight a blue guy who shoots Dragon Ball Z beams at you in a room full of meaty faces? This also kind of reminds me of Binding of Isaac. The brimstone laser. Does Pepsi Man show up in Binding of Isaac? If you mod it. Actually, there might be a Pepsi Man baby now that I think about it. That's a good tie-in to get. Get that Pepsi money. There was also a... A Sans baby. In the in the game. And someone was screaming because they didn't modify their game and Sans just showed up. Sans is in this one, too. Whoa, I can yeah, sidestep through died. the beam. Keep shooting. I'm gonna die of a heart attack so before close. I can kill him. What? He was Bret Hart the whole time. Did you see his little Bret Hart pose? No! He was ghosts. He the was whole ghosts, time. of course. That's where Pepsi gets his delicious taste. Scott, Jeff, Martin, Chandler. These workers were all killed by the spirits of dead visitors. They possess a killer man's body and use him to carry out the kills. <laughs> of course. Except for the second murder of Cunningham. Cunningham tried to frame Jason for the deed so he could grab the award money when no one was looking. Unfortunately, Jason discovered Cunningham's killer man costume. And he made the mistake of ordering shark so fin soup. Cunningham decided to kill Jason, who managed to survive the attack. That explains why Jason's attacker moved differently and used a different weapon than the other killer man spirits. And smelled like booze. It was Cunningham in the killer man disguise. The tables were turned when the spirits of the dead visitors got the best of the impersonator. SummerSlam 94. Ill bleed. What a scary place. But what is more scary is how a human soul can be so full of hate and anger. Also, this room's pretty creepy. Are you going to write about all this in your article? Yes, if I can make it home alive. The headline will be... Revealed the real culprits behind a homicidal theme park. That's a little long. Cool. I'd like you to read it. No. I'm not. Sure thing. If I can make it home in one piece. Can you just do a video of it? Ah, this mysterious theme park. Ill bleed. Our investigation is almost over. The Michael Reynolds Museum is nearby. Let's go. We killed Killer Man. Now we got a murder, murder man. And marry marriage man. Ah, yes. My favorite Gary Newman album. The person you chose as the murderer is Killerman. Killerman is possessed by the souls of the past challenges to seek revenge for their death. Your reasoning is correct. 
It was a joke you made, but it paid off. You get prize money. This game's fucking stupid. Whoa! A million dollars? I like that Killer Man has a pentagram on his face, so you know he's evil. He was a mild-mannered teenager who was bit by Aleister Crowley, and now he's a pretentious fuck who you just can't stand hanging around with. Your prize is... Shit, I think that was a self-burn. <laughs> no, that's, that's a little less than a million. Where's that million dollars? Well, I'm probably gonna have to use it to bring my dead friends back to life. Thanks for watching another great episode of Ill Bleed. Uh, we killed a superhero. Didn't expect that. We killed a superhero who was justified. And also a $20 million robot full of ghosts. But, but two people died. I wonder how much money it's gonna take to bring Eriko back to life, because I'm sick of looking at this dude. I don't know, he just... He gives off an energy I really don't like. Like... Digimon trainer energy. Yes, this kid has Digimon trainer energy. He doesn't even have a pink cowboy hat. Return to life. That's not too bad, considering I have a fucking cool million. $75,000 to bring someone back to life is definitely not bad. Oh no, but they're only bringing him one body. They're gonna man with two brains this shit. Pointy birds, a pointy pointy, anoint my head, anointy nointy. Well, did we learn our lesson that we shouldn't put all our faith in one person? Yeah, don't nope. put don't put all your faith in Jorg. He <laughs> sucks. Look, Look at, at his that. fucking Aww. face. Oh, fucking! He's, he's the shittiest McElroy brother. <laughs> fucking eight-year-old Jason Voorhees drowning ass. <laughs> I he hate looks, him. He looks like a South Park character that got turned into a real boy. He's just so generic white man. Okay, what an we're we we'll go through each one. What anime they're from, okay? This guy. No anime bad enough for Jork to exist in. I can't think of a single one. He's so fucking generic. Code Lyoko. I don't Go, know. Yeah. Uh, no, that's... Yeah, he's a Code Lyoko ass looking motherfucker. This lady. Uh, something uh, from Shaman, the 90s. Shaman King. That's just great. That is just great teacher Onizuka. Digimon. And then Eriko's one of the sexy Team Rocket members. And you know what, Eriko? You want blood? You got it. We're gonna max out Eriko's stats because I refuse to learn any lessons. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everyone. And no, we're not gonna play the Code Lyoko game for this channel. <laughs> Feet! If we get a million dollars a month on Patreon. A million dollars a month. And if it dips at all, we quit. Bad Tunes comes back just for Code Lyoko. <laughs> every, <laughs> every episode, and I'm leaving the sneeze in. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> A million is not enough. This channel sucks. <laughs>
Hey, I want to give a big shout out to Balp for being at the beginning of the video. I thought it'd be a cool treat to have him come as a guest star, and he completely knocked it out of the park. He stole the show. He was a pleasure to work with. If you want to show your thanks, there's links in the description below to his channel, or just wait and click his face in the little box that pops up and watch one of his videos that's really great. And be sure to subscribe to his channel while you're there and follow him on Twitter at Balp. We're gonna try and have the next video out as soon as possible. As you know, we had to go on a long hiatus. My job, my family life, my personal life, my sanity, and the world itself just got kind of thrown into chaos and it just made filming next to impossible. But we're back on our feet. We're starting to film again. So hopefully we're gonna have some new cool stuff for you on the way. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, share, go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash real last save. The money we got from there helped us buy this new 4K camera and you're going to like the new stuff we do with it. And be sure to follow our Twitch channels, twitch.tv slash real last save. And for Melody solo streams, twitch.tv slash Melody burst. That's where they put up their solo work and work with their friends. Much love. Thank you. Bye.